just from a sports point of view i'd also want to ask about mindset and you know we we constantly traveling we're constantly playing and mental fatigue physical fatigue emotionally we're away from family and friends and there's a lot of things that go on in the mind like you said there's a lot of balls juggling but it does happen what 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 could we do to maybe keep ourselves a little bit more calmer in our heads why I know why are you why are you so unambitious why are you saying little bit more calmer i'll start with little and then i'll <laughs> like your campaign it has to build so now let's look at it this way you keep your hand here if you wish does it stay here or does it jump all over the place it does jump all over it, it does sometimes. then you will get bolder <laughs> <laughs> your hand must stay right there where you want it isn't it hand stays but here no hand we're talking about the hand yeah your hand you're able to keep it right here if you want it will go here if you want it will go here if you want it will go here suppose your hand became like this it's jumping all over the place suppose my hand jumps all over the place they would think i have some kind of an ailment isn't it hmm? hand jumping maybe that mr parkinson was vis visiting us or something <laughs> so we have to look at this unfortunately in these societies we think mind jumping all over the place is normal it's not normal that's not the way human mind is made there are some fundamental aspects which there is no time or space to explore those things here but we must understand this much this body and this mind must take instructions from you isn't it no huh? your your body and your mind if it doesn't take instructions from you this body and this mind it's more a nuisance than help yes it is more of a nuisance than help right now people are trying to manage the nuisance as you said if it becomes little less nuisance i'm happy no it need not be a nuisance see the reason why you physically train is so that your body doesn't come in the way isn't it see, the idea of training is not to put your body out there that when i'm performing activity my body is not in my way it's not my tripping point my body is behind me supporting me not knocking me down that's the idea of physical training similarly there should have been substantial mental training but training means people are having a psychologist that is when you're ill hello trying to change attitudes it's not about attitudes it's about understanding the mechanism of how this mental structure functions as physiology functions the psychological framework functions in a with a certain parameters if you do not understand that and handle it then it is only by chance on a certain day you are in the zone rest of the time it's a risk rest of the time you're chasing that mindset where you know some days like you said some days automatically you end up in that mind space in a good mind space so and after that you know that is where you want to be so rest of the time you're chasing it see a game is subject to various realities it's not all you there's also somebody who's throwing the ball in tricky ways all right it's not all you you're only 50% the other 50% is there all over the place so that 50% must happen you cannot do 100% even if you're as brilliant as you can be you could be gone first ball that's the nature of the game all right if that nature of the game is removed then there's no game if every time you can hit it then there's no game you cannot hit it that is the game isn't it so leaving that part this 50% which is your 100% that must happen every day even if you change your underwear i'm saying whatever that lucky charm that you have for somebody it, it may be a, some kind of a pendant somebody it's a mantra somebody else it's an underwear it doesn't matter what the hell it is but you're trying to hang on to something to create some kind of a mental sense of confidence there are two ways to work either you can work with confidence or you can work with clarity see right now if i ask you to walk from here to there or anybody if i ask them to walk from here to there they will walk up and down no problem why 
It's clear, the lights are on. Suppose we switch off the lights and make this hall pitch dark. If I ask them to walk, now lack… they will struggle. Why? Now they need confidence to take the next step. Why? Because there is no clarity. So people think confidence is a substitute for clarity. It is not. What you need is absolute clarity, not confidence. With confidence, sometimes it may work by chance. It's like, let's say you want to cross the highway where traffic is moving at a certain speed. To build confidence, people have various slogans. Somebody says, uh, Jai Sri Ram, somebody says, Allahu Akbar, somebody says something else. You shout one of these things and run across the highway. Maybe you will make it. Hello? Maybe by sheer chance you made it. Or because of the compassion of some driver, you make it. But if you try every day, we know where to pick you up, <laughs> for sure, isn't it? So similarly, when a bowler bowls a ball, you close your eyes and hit it. Maybe it'll go for a sixer. But if you try every time, we know what, right? This happened <laughs> An American lady came to Bangalore. This was… now those auto rickshaws have gone down. At that time, auto rickshaw was the fastest thing going on the Bangalore roads. It felt fast because it made a lot of noise. It was doing only forty, forty-five kilometers per hour, but because of the way they drove on three wheels, it felt like it's a Formula One or something. So, <laughs> this lady uh, came and uh, this guy is just driving to impress the… this uh, foreign lady who's come to the city, he's trying to impress her with his skills of driving and he's going through everything and so two buses are coming, he goes boom in between and she just screams and yells and all this happened. Then uh, after she got down, she asked him a particular moment when those two buses came, how did you make it? It was hardly any space. He said, I closed my eyes <laughs> <laughs> So she came and told me, those terrible three-wheelers <laughs> So if you close your eyes, sometimes it just works. So this is what confidence means. I'm sure in every game, people are trying to train people, you must be confident, you must be confident. No, you should not be confident because confident means you are not in touch with realities. Clarity is what is needed because just before the… okay. So we were, uh, you know, like I was talking to a group of uh, journalists and uh, this is at that time when Pakistan was playing in India for the one-day internationals which were going on. Sadhguru, how to beat Pakistan? Please tell us. I said, if you want to beat Pakistan, you don't call Indian cricket team, call Indian army. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where do you want to beat Pakistan? You just have to hit the ball. Hello? You just have to hit the ball. I was uh, training this, uh, you know, Indian hockey team and uh, at one time and later after three, four years, I'm walking in Chennai airport, KPS Gill was heading the thing. And all this, that old players who came to us, the senior players, they were all out, whole bunch of young players, almost six or seven of them were all tribal boys from Delhi, Turkey to others, all eighteen to twenty-two age group, these boys are for the first time going out of the country for championships uh, trophy to Germany. They're all wide-eyed, they've never traveled outside and you know, it's the first time. And they're not from cities, they're tribal boys. So somebody is giving them pep talk uh, in Hindi, I can't repeat all the words. He's saying, desh ka ijat apka <laughs> something, something. Your parents, your parents' honor is in your hands. One billion people's hopes are in your hands, like this he is giving pep talk. These boys are <laughs> one billion people's <laughs> stuff sitting on their head. Then I was passing by uh, KPS Gill saw me and said, Sadhguru, can you say something to the boys for the first time they're going out of the country? So I said, see, 
you know how to play hockey? They said, yes. I said, I don't think you know how to play hockey. You don't know how to play hockey, that's why you're looking like this. You're looking like this because you obviously don't know how to play hockey. No, we know how to play hockey, suddenly they're pride. I said, if you play, know how to play hockey, first thing is forget the one billion people, forget your mabap business. <laughs> There's only one thing, the damn ball should be in the opposite goal, that's all you know. You need lust for this. You just need lust to put the ball in the goal, that's all you do. You don't count how many goals I've put, that's not your business. There are professional people hired to keep the score. Why are you keeping the score? Your business is a ball at a time, isn't it? But everybody is calculating, they're looking at the score when I'm coming to hundred. How many really fantastic batsmen unnecessarily have gotten out in nineties in India? So many of them is a legend. I'm guilty of many too. <laughs> <laughs> because you're doing the scorekeeper's work. You do your job. Your job is to hit the ball according to its merit. What does it matter what's the score? Whether it's one or hundred, what is your business? No, no, you must strategize. All that, there is somebody else. The player has to just do what he has to do at that moment right, isn't it? See, the desire to win is one thing. Everybody wants to win in their life, not just in a game. Everybody wants to win. Everybody has a desire to be successful. But the desire is only giving you the direction, which way you want to go. Desire will not make you successful. It's only the competence which makes you successful, isn't it? And competence is clearly clouded when you're confident. Competence needs clarity. You just see things the way they are and do what you have to do at that moment. Not try to win the match. You cannot win the match. You can only hit the ball, isn't it? Somebody will tell you whether you have won or not. 